Okay, today's question is, can I eat or drink while I do work slash study, right? I have two ways of answering this question, right? It depends on the food itself, right? What food you're eating, what drink you're eating. And it depends what you're doing, right? It depends on the work task that you're doing right now. So I'm sure you can understand there are certain work tasks where it's very focused, right? So if it's very focused and during those times in your life, if you remember, if you look back, was I eating when I was that focused on that kind of work? Probably not. You probably weren't, you know, having a meal. You probably forget to eat even. You forget to drink. You forget to drink water. You forget to eat your food. And that's fine because you're focused on your work and your productive output from that work is going to be very high, right? High output. And that requires no distractions. And distractions include things like eating food, digesting your food, you know, having like, you know, your body work on different things. So your body needs energy, right? Uh, and between your brain and your digestive system, your body competes with that kind of stuff. I'm just going to draw a stomach here. I'm just going to draw a very basic uh, stomach diagram here. I'm not a biologist, but your body's energy will be diverted to different things. So it can be diverted to your brain or to your stomach, right? And so if you do eat, then some of that energy will go to digesting your food and some of the energy will go to your brain, right? It isn't too significant depending on what you eat, but it will affect the level of focus that you have or you're able to have, right? So if you have focused work, very deep work, then I wouldn't recommend eating, right? So that might involve things like where you are fully involved. So while I'm recording this video, I probably wouldn't be eating because I'm fully involved in recording the video, right? I don't have time to like put a bite of food into my mouth because that distracts from the whole point of this exercise, right? Maybe things like if you're really in the flow of writing an essay, if you're really in the flow of building some, some chair in like carpentry or something like that, some like creative thing where you need to focus intently and work with your hands perhaps not a good idea. So where might it be a good idea to eat food or drink water or drink any kind of drink, right? There are two types of work I would really say here. There's deep work, which is the, the kind of work I just described right now with the focus and all of that. And then there's kind of, how would I call this? Perhaps shallow work? And that's not to say that this is a a type of work that's not valuable it definitely is but it's less it gives it it lends itself less to deep work right less to kind of focus and it doesn't require that amount of long-term focus for hours and hours right deep work is going to go on for for potentially hours right and you need a, a high amount of focus sorry my pen's not quite working quite well and the focus is high right but let's say you need to check some emails, check messages from clients and like check different things here and there and like go to meetings and come back and like your task switching a lot, not to say that's bad work, but it's very short term and the focus is low, right? So the focus here is going to be very high. The focus here is going to be very low, right? And for that, you probably can eat food, right? So let's say you're doing some research for this essay that you're going to write, right? I, let's say you're writing about the Industrial Revolution and you don't know much about it, but you want to watch a video, do some research on Wikipedia here and there. Perhaps then you can have a bowl of food, a cup of coffee, have a, a nice time while you research the Industrial Revolution and get some notes down, right? Or take a screenshot here, watch this video, learn some facts about this, write some dates down. That's more shallow work before you get into writing the essay and that could lend itself better to eating food and other distractions as well, right? I wouldn't recommend other distractions. Food tends to be like a necessity throughout the day. So if you want to work for like a long period of time, whether it's deep or shallow work, then food might be necessary during that period of time. And food I would recommend to be eaten during shallow work if you're going to eat during work at all. Right. So that's what I would say about the kind of work that lends itself to eating food or drinking drinks. Right. Shallow work. 
typically for me in my life, I will do this when I am checking messages, checking upon, you know, clients and things like that. Not when I'm talking to them on a call, but if I'm checking messages, checking emails, things like this, then I will be eating food and things like that. So perhaps when I am editing this video and like, you know, chopping a bit off the front and the back, I might eat some food. When I'm writing down some details for the video, I might eat some food. That's the kind of thing that would involve shallow work. So that's deep and shallow work. Going back to the top. So I said, there's a type of work and the type of food you eat. This is where it comes into a bit of a, not controversial, but a very argued kind of topic, right? I'll tell you my personal experience and you can take what you want from that, okay? And I'll also tell you what I've heard a lot from many people in the same kind of productivity niche slash industry here. I found, so I'm on the carnivore diet, if you didn't know, right? And that's a diet where you eat pretty much just meat. You can eat eggs and dairy, but for me, I eat just meat, right? So just to explain that and write it down, that's meat, right? It seems extreme, and I'll explain that in other videos. You can click through my channel if you want to find out more. But this diet has been 100% unequivocally better for me and my life, physically and mentally. So let me, let me talk about mentally, okay? With carnivore, with these kind of meals and foods, I've not felt ever any type of energy crash since I've started going on this diet, right? And what I attribute that to is carbs, right? So any form of carbs, for me, and for many people who have heard their stories and anecdotes from, and this is generally known. If you eat carbs, if you eat a lot of sugars, you will have a peak, a sugar rush, and you'll have a crash. Right? It's, very, it's pretty common knowledge, right? So I've noticed in my life, when I eat a, a bowl of rice or a bowl of porridge or something like that, it might energize me for a little bit, but it will lead to me to have a crash, right? A crash, like a, a stomach bloating feeling. Generally speaking, in my life, when I've had carbs, especially while working, it's led to undesirable outcomes, right? So a crash, that means like a decrease in energy levels that's significant enough for me to feel it. Bloating, so discomfort in my kind of general physical body and these things aren't great if you don't have the energy to do work then you won't be efficient in the work if you're uncomfortable in your body then you won't be efficient in your work right and i found just through experimenting with this that having a meal without carbs okay no carbs so you don't have to go all the way to carnivore to kind of benefit from this i don't think but a meal without carbs, I've heard from most people, and in my story included, the crashes disappear. No crashes. And no discomfort either. No bloating, no like digestive issues, things like that. So I'll just write no bloating for now. Which both are an upgrade, right? So if you want to upgrade the food you eat to, you know, make your study session better then I would go for a no carb option for that time period at least, right? Maybe after you get your work done, you can have your, your carby meal and you can, you can do that. But at least when you are studying, I would recommend having a no carb meal. That's what works. That has, that's what has worked in my uh, experience and also the experience of others around me as well. So that's what I would recommend. And generally speaking, in terms of proteins and fats, I have not had anything like that affect my studying or work in a negative way either. So that's what I would recommend in terms of the carnivore diet, in terms of carbs, proteins and fats, all the macronutrients. That's what I would say the effects are, for me at least, in terms of work and studying and the efficiency associated with that. So that's what I'll have to say with that. In terms of drink... Similar situation, if you have a sugary drink, then you might have a, a peak and a crash. 
But what I drink is just water, and you can't go wrong with water. Uh, I would say with coffee, so water, that's completely fine. Like Water is just a pretty neutral thing. It just doesn't really do much for you in, in terms of uh, uh, energy levels, right? It doesn't like peak you up and crash you. It will just maintain your healthy, normal, physical health. Coffee, though, and I've made videos about this before, I generally think it's a bad idea, right? Because, yes, you will peak for a moment, but it's the same as sugar, it's the same as carbs. You'll come crashing down, and it will affect your sleep, right? So with coffee, there is the crash, which a lot of people don't talk about, and there's the destruction of your sleep quality, right? Both of which mean that your work becomes less e effective, less efficient, right? You won't feel as good when you're doing your work. And your tolerance, like your energy, like all of these things, you, you get a crash and your energy overall, if you drink coffee regularly, your energy overall will become decreased because of your tolerance, right? And so I don't recommend any kind of drugs when I talk about studying or work. People talk about coffee, caffeine, Adderall, things like that. There's always a negative side effect, okay? I've heard doctors talk about drugs before and they say drugs either have side effects or they don't work, right? To talk about drugs in a, a bit of a funny way there, but that's the thing. There's going to be some sacrifice and in the long, in the long run, it won't work, right? It's very, very short term. Like, okay, if I want to get like amazing amounts of work done in the next hour, sure, I'll have a coffee but then I sacrifice the next few days in terms of my lack of sleep, in terms of the crash, in terms of the, the lack of energy. That doesn't seem worth it to me. When I could be living a healthy life, a healthy diet and healthy sleep, and I could have that one hour of energy anyway, right? Through just having a good environment around me and having the right study tips and the right setup for my work. I can have that productive hour anyway right? Without having to rely on some external chemical, right? To try and boost me up. So that's how I feel about coffee. So I believe that answers the question for you in terms of whether you should drink or eat during your work or study session. So what we went through, just to summarize this, is the type of work. So you can do deep work or shallow work. And so eating lends itself to shallow work, checking emails, checking messages, watching videos, things like that. But typically when you want to do deep work, you don't really want to be eating when you're doing that. Then there's the type of food you eat. So that is, I found it better on the carnivore diet, but if you want to just boost your work and studying without having to go extreme with your diet, then I would say no carbs while you study or eat at least, right? That's what I would say. Uh, water's fine and coffee I would find to be in my opinion doesn't really make sense to me because you're sacrificing a lot for a very small amount of gain right there's always side effects and it really really does not make sense to me so that's my opinion there so with that being said thank you for watching I hope this has helped please continue to ask questions in the comments below and also especially in the first link in the description there's a community page and I check all of those comments and that's where I get most of these comments from. So please ask your comments there. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Knowledge is power and the power is yours. Nice.